Hello Arts Peeps, this is Ian DJ Raven Fox 13. Today we'll be doing another watercolor step-by-step -step guide by yours truly on his Traveler's Notebook watercolor insert. Watch, like, and subscribe. Okay, to start with, I have some new colors for my Koi Sakura watercolor. So I have swatch the five colors here. And then we'll be limiting colors that we'll be using for this watercolor painting. We'll be only using five colors. So these are the swatch of the five colors. I'll be doing a galaxy forest, galaxy themed forest. So the first thing you need to do is to wet first the area that you want to color with the galaxy like effect. For a galaxy effect to work, you need a wet on wet effect. So you need to mix all the colors that you will be using for your painting while everything is still wet so that the colors will try to mingle with each other. Like in this case, I'm trying to introduce different colors that are within the palette on the side. So I started with uh, ultramarine violet and then I added turquoise blue and then indigo. Always remember, watercolor tends to change the color whenever you compare the wet tint or color to its dried counterpart. So always, always mix the colors darker than what you want. More than often, the color tends to get a little bit lighter when it dries. Okay, now I'm trying to... Uh, create a galaxy-like effect on the background of the forest. Now, when you do that, I want the lower part, which would be the reflection of the sky in the lower part of the painting, to have a similar color scheme from the top background. So here, I'm introducing a warmer color with a cobalt violet hue. I'm still using the mixture that I use above. Okay, so there would be similarities in color. Both are done in wet on wet technique. I'm using a, this is a synthetic brush that I usually use, especially when I do demos. If you have any question, just put it on the comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel to get updated. And if you want to suggest any other videos that you want to watch or see, just put it on the comment section below. Now, I'm doing the snowy landscape. So snowy landscapes are usually white, but since white tends to take the colors that are around it we're creating a light blue shadowy color to give depth to the composition so one by one so whenever you're doing watercolor it's better if you test the colors first on a separate paper For this, this is usually what I do in my paintings. I try to limit the colors that I will be using on a certain color scheme. The colors that I use here are the galaxy colors. I'm actually adding shadows of the trees in the landscape. When you're using watercolor, you try to add the colors by building up layers. I'm trying to darken the colors of the landscape on the back by adding another layer of color with the same watercolor. So I'm actually now wetting the inside of the trees. Always remember, the watercolor only spreads on the part which is wet. 
So whenever you wet a space, more than often you guide the water to just mingle within the wet area. That's what happens when you won't wait when you're painting. Uh, the water tends to seep into the much wetter area. So there. Now, I'm mixing a very dark color. As it dries, you see the background, it turns a little bit lighter. So, I try to adjust first the background. So, I'm adding another layer over the background because I want it to be uh, very contrasting against the, the light colored trees. So, I'm adding ultramarine violet and indigo whenever you add something on the background of course you also need to tweak up the lower part which is the reflection of the sky or the background now i'm adding the branches so make sure that the branch tries to go either in front or on the back of the different trees so that you can add interest in doing it sometimes it's harder to make branches that are crooked rather than making straight lines so the best thing to do is to uh, just allow your brush to do the work you try to rotate the brush while you're doing the lines so here I'm doing uh, branches also twigs on the lower part of the landscape so those would be yung mga shrubs and yung foliage that has lost their leaves so I'm trying to balance yung composition by putting some branches here and there and then the tip of the branches that goes into the trunks of the trees I try to add a little bit of water so that it would be blending on the trunk like this Whenever you work with a color scheme, it tries to bind the composition better. It usually defines the realistic uh, rules of painting. It's more of an expressive way on how to interpret a subject. There, I'm adding another layer for the background. And then I'm trying to deepen the shadows of the trees. Adjusting the contrast. Contrast would be uh, how light and dark in background. Now you can see that I'm lifting colors using a tissue paper. This is a good kind of technique so that it would appear as if the colors or the trees are actually re being reflected in the lower part of the painting. So I'm tweaking the colors, see that? It's as if the trees are seen in the reflection. Now I'm trying to add more dark colors so that the reflections would be seen. Right now, I'm usually lifting colors using a tissue paper after wetting that part with the brush. With this paper, the watercolor insert of Traveler's Notebook, you can easily use this technique. Lifting is like a beautiful technique for this. Then be careful when you're lifting the masking tape. And there you go. So that's the finished painting. And that is the end of our painting session for today. Like and subscribe if you like this video. And also, put a comment below if you want to see more of videos like this on my channel. Have a great day. Thank you so much. See you again in my channel.